What's going on everybody? So I'm right outside of Nashville, Tennessee, and I've got to stop up here at Love's and get some fuel. So if you're first time watching my video, my name is Sean. I'm a trainer, truck driver, obviously here for Rosedale Tra Transport, excuse me. And uh, I make videos every day trying to teach you something that the CDL school don't teach you. Uh, and then I try to do trucking vlogs like this, showing you a little bit what I do and where I go. If you're interested in being a truck driver or becoming a truck driver or just want to learn new things or see how I do it, that's why I call it Trucking Life with Sean. So uh, today I want to show you a video about how we fuel our trucks and, and going through Nashville. That's what today's video is about. So here we go. All right, so I'm, I gotta stop up here at Love's. I can see my death fuel light just come on. I'm low on death. Uh, my fuel light, I've got a half a tank of diesel, which in the winter time, I don't go past that. Uh, I try to stay, you know, uh, above a half. My death fuel, I'll let it get a little low. My death, usually death goes like forever. So I've let it get a little low, but I'm gonna go ahead and fill that up. I'm going west, going to Colorado. So I'm not gonna let either tank get past the half a tank once I, past Nashville because uh, you never know the weather out there seems to be fine but I could run into snow or could run into ice or whatever so in the winter time I don't let it go past the half summertime I usually don't let it go past a quarter but uh, the more I stopped to get deaf at last time they were out of deaf so anyway I've just run a little low but I don't like stopping in big cities like this here in Nashville they're not the, I'm not worried about you know nobody jumping on me or nothing but they're not the safest place as far as they're not the cleanliness uh there's usually a lot of homeless people a lot of drug addicts uh, so you just got to get out of fuel and get out of there and they're usually really crowded um that's really what bothers me more than anything is just how crowded they are and that's in near atlanta uh, any major city the loves before or afterwards is usually really crowded but this one right here is in nashville like, like downtown nashville pretty much so uh, I'm sure it's going to be crowded, but I've got to get some death. Looks like I'm 1,154 miles from Colorado. Um, I'm going to stop tonight around 6 o'clock, so I've got a few more hours I can drive. Looks like I get off an 82B up here. So i got a few more hours that I can drive tonight, and um, I, I've got a lot of hours on my clock, but I just started out today, and I like starting my clock so I can start early in the mornings. Um, I like starting around four or five o'clock every morning, so I kind of set my pace for the rest of the week. If I work till 10 o'clock tonight, then tomorrow I won't be able to start at eight o'clock in the morning. And my body, I wake up four or five o'clock in the morning. Fortunately, with you know Rosedale Transport, they allow you, or they have certain routes that work. And the routes that I'm on, I can get up in the morning and you know work to about six o'clock and call it quits and get my miles. But this is a good run. Uh, it was 150 miles out there to pick it up, and then it's about 1,300 miles out there. So around about 1500 miles then coming back the return loads beer load i believe is going to go down to south georgia so time i do that and get back to my house i'm going to end up running about 3200 miles so which is really good all right 82b all right 40 east knoxville okay so we're going to go 42b right here slow down a little bit all right we're going to go up here and jump on i-24 this is exit only, so I've got to get over my left lane if I can. If not, I'll have to get off the exit only, but that is what it is. Oh, here we go. Here's my chance. Slowly get on over here. See that building right there? It's the AT&T building. That looks like the, um, looks like a Batman, on it? But that's Nashville, everybody. Nashville! All right, so now we're going to go up here to 211B again. So I need to get over. I'm going to put my blinker on and start working my way over. Oop, this guy's not gonna let me over, you see that? Started to, then he started spitting out, now he backed off, all right. Thank you, sir, thank you, sir. Greatly appreciated. I always flash your lights right here. This flashes your marker lights right here, everybody. Let's the people know that you appreciate it. That's the truck driver's way of saying thank you and, and uh, you're welcome back, so, okay. So now we're on 24. I'm probably gonna stop up in Illinois tonight. I think I've got enough. I mean, I got plenty of time. I've got six hours left on my clock, but the first day out is the only, the day that I don't burn my whole clock out because it's New Year's Day, okay? I could have left out in the morning, uh, but I left out a little early on New Year's Day. I started in the middle of the day. 
I just wanted to get in a few hundred miles, uh, get going. That way I can, really my week's gonna start tomorrow and I'm gonna get up, you know, four o'clock in the morning and take off. But. There's the river right there. There's Nashville, y'all can't look too much, but I try to, the camera's on my hand, so I can glance over for a second for y'all. So we gotta get off over 87. Do, 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 do. Go ahead and ease back over in this middle lane right here. Work my way back over to the right lane. I can get off to the right in about three miles. And that's just pretty. Oh, Music City right here. Music City. Mm -hmm. Yep, so I'm excited. I'm headed to Colorado once. I'm gonna cross through uh, Tennessee and then we're gonna, we're gonna cross to Kentucky. Cross Kentucky and then going to Illinois. Uh, then I'm gonna park. I believe I'm gonna park somewhere in Illinois tonight, Illinois. And then once uh, I get up in the morning, I go across Illinois, get across St. Louis, uh, Missouri, and I'm gonna cross state of Missouri and get somewhere into Kansas tomorrow night. And then I'll get up and then I'll be in Colorado. Pretty simple. I mean, like I said, I'm only 1,150 miles. If I get down to a thousand miles, I'll knock out at least 600 miles tomorrow so i'll be there pretty early wednesday then i go get my back load and start headed back that's that's the plan which they told me another reason i'm not pushing it really hard is they told me that my back load wouldn't be ready till wednesday night or thursday morning so i could work late tonight but if i got there wednesday morning i wouldn't get a uh, i wouldn't get a back load so i believe this next exit up here is going to be the loves if i'm not mistaken my sign says next exit loves. <laughs> pretty, pretty good area. He's all right. I've came to this loves before coming you know the opposite way. Like I said, I normally don't stop, but since my death is low, my death fluid. For y'all don't know what death fluid is, diesel exhaust fluid. So you have you have diesel fluid and then you have the diesel exhaust fluid. So we have two different types of fuel that we put in trucks, and that's what I want to show you in this video. So when we get up here, how we fuel the truck. I have two tanks on both sides to fill up the diesel. Uh, like I said, I've almost got a half a tank, so I'm not gonna have to fill it all the way up. And then my dev tank is low, so I'm gonna have to fill it up. It's if y'all don't know what dev fluid, it's 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 recycled urine, is what it is, believe it or not. It's crazy, isn't it? It helps burn the exhaust, I guess. I don't know. Not the emissions type guy. I don't really know all that good stuff. All right, so here's my exit here. So I'll go ahead and get on over. Take exit 87 on the right to US 431 South, then keep right. Good enough for me, good enough for me and my Bobby McGee. <laughs> that song was playing Bobby McGee while ago. La da do, la da da, la da do, la da do, da da da. I like old listening to oldies music when I drive. All right, so it's 87. I believe we take a right, and it should be on my right. Keep right to US 431 South, then take the second. It is. All right. Maybe we won't be crowded, crowded since it's New Year's Day. Like I said, we're not staying the night there, so. All right, we're gonna turn right on red. Just make sure we curve it all the way back in like that. Watch our mirrors as we go. All right, there's the loves right there. There's a whole beat up hotel right there next to it. Right. Oh, they probably partying down there last night. Yee. Won't be nowhere near there. All right, so this is the Loves. Trucking's back here. Oh, yeah, the trucking parking is absolutely full. Look at that. Look at that. Arrival Slap Loves full. I mean, it's packed all the way back through there. All right. Oh, the, 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 the fuel tanks ain't, so that's good. So we're going to swing it in real quick like this. Watch my mirrors, make sure I can. All right. Get a bump on in here. Looks like I got a curve, right? All right. 
Always watching your mirrors. It goes slowly when you drive up through here. All right, now, you always wanna go right here to on duty on your ELD. You have to you have to log it as you do it. So we're gonna say on duty and we're gonna call it fuel because that's what we're doing, we're fueling. So we're on duty, not driving. You have to log that for FMCSA, okay? All right, I'll make sure I got my wallet. Next thing that's very important, y'all, is what I'm about to grab up here. It's gloves. You're like, what? I'm, I'm gonna show you when I'm done fueling, you'll see why. But uh, the company don't provide these, I, I buy these. They're just, they're good to have. These tanks are really nasty. I'm not a germ freak or nothing like that, but who wants to get all diesel all over their hands and all in their truck? I try to keep my truck clean. You know what I'm saying? All right, so I'll put that back up there. Go ahead and get my gloves on. Now, these are not really expensive gloves because I'm gonna throw them away. So they're just cheap cheap gloves but it helps keep things clean and good all right and then this is my garbage right here every time i stop at a truck stop i throw away my garbage i cook so you know i get a lot of different garbage in here okay do, do, do. where's my wallet got it turn the truck off for a minute lights off all right this is my death tank, and this is my diesel tank right here. All right. So, first thing you wanna do is you wanna come over here and you wanna put in your fuel card, and then your loves card. All right, here we go. Fuel card goes in like this. And then you wanna use your loves card. Your loves card is how you um, get your points. And what I said, mean by points is, you know, you get your showers. Every time you fuel, you get a shower. Where is my love card? It's not good. There, there it is. Plus you get four points, you get four pennies for every gallon. So, you know, if I get a hundred gallons now, which like I said, I've got a half tank, I probably won't be able to get a hundred gallons, but if I did, that'd be $4 to go in my car that I could spend on whatever I need there. All right, then it's usually gonna ask you for your truck number. This mine's 24854. And then it's gonna ask you for it's diesel. You want death? Yes. And then it's gonna ask you for your driver ID. All right. And then it's gonna ask me for my mileage. And then it'll ask you if you want any cash advance, which I'm gonna say yes. Um, don't know if I'll need cash, I may not. They give you $100 every week. I pull that because it doesn't tax it and then I can use it for groceries or whatever I need. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab that. It's good to have a little cash on you just in case you get out here and something happens, you know, you're in a blizzard storm and you need a barter or whatever. So I always try to keep a little cash on me. All right, not a lot, but a little bit. Now it says fuel, so we'll go ahead and we're gonna it's on open. Oh, almost forgot. I looked that up. See how that? Look at that. Done turn black on my hand. Wait till I'm done. You'll, you'll see. All right. Now that's fueling. We're gonna run around to the other side. Wait a little bit at it. All right. All right. Good chance to just kind of look at your tires real quick. You don't want to get too far off because you don't want that to nothing to hit or you don't want it to fill out. But always take your chance here to go ahead and clean your windows, y'all. So that's what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to go ahead and get my windshield good and clean. Believe it or not, these things right here are really dirty. I guess for all the diesel nasty hands that go on it. go so whenever i got a trainee in the truck one of us will be fueling and one of us will jump on this uh always grab the trash out of the truck that's what you know just it helps the trainer out if you see trash go ahead and get it up um and then go ahead and start cleaning the windows while he's fueling or vice versa
there's that. Then while that's fueling, I'm gonna put this stick back up right here. I'm gonna run around the truck real quick and just double check my tires. Thing looks good there. Make sure that, you know, I haven't, the tire ain't made a leak or something. Every time I stop, every time I stop, I try to do that. I make sure my mud flaps are on. I didn't leave my lights on, so I think can't check my lights, but you always wanna do this, because you gotta be careful mindful of the fuel tanks up there. You don't want them to start spewing out. The tires all look good back through here. Both mud flaps are still in check. These are just safety measures. Okay, I just heard it click off. Plus, it gets your heart beat up a little bit. Do a little lap around the truck. You don't get much exercise. All right, so that's done there. How much, how much fuel y'all think we got? I had almost a half a tank, so. All right. Ooh, those things are nasty. All right, looks like we got 104 gallons. Okay, now we're gonna do our diff. Make sure this is on good and tight. I need to you get a ticket if this cap's not on. Well, I have a little problem here, ain't I? Ah, why is it not going on right? There we go. All right, now we gotta do diesel exhaust fluid. It's gonna be right here. I'll press that light. You don't wanna get this stuff on here. Look how they like this nasty. All right. All right, there we go. Now this you guys gotta hold down. See my hands, if you just need to see how felt how greasy they were, that's why I got these gloves. They are just oh my god. It's a little cold chilly out here got my my R fell off my truck and I didn't get it on there getting to follow me on YouTube at trucking life was on the R done fell off that side hmm. it's because I put it on the crack I should have moved it over a little bit more oh, that was different my last truck didn't have this it felt like I had more panel I don't, I don't know it's weird I don't know so this right here is not gonna hold a lot of gallons. It's like I said, it's just diesel exhaust fluid. Oops. So far I've got almost 10 gallons in. It's low, it'll probably hold 15, so I'm guessing. Just curious, I don't know if somebody watched this whole video or not, but if you watched the whole video or if you've watched all the way up to this point, would you please let me know in the comments? Hey, just type in, I'm still here. <laughs> Say in the comments, I'm still here. So just kind of just curious if this video, uh, it doesn't tell me how long you've watched it. I mean, it probably would, but it's just it's a different type of video. It's not really just kind of showing y'all what I'm doing. And some people may be curious of, you know, how we fuel a truck or all that good stuff. But let me know in the comments. Say, hey, I'm still here. That would uh, let me know. But if you're new to my channel, subscribe. Like I said, I put out videos every day trying to teach you something the CDS school won't teach you. All right, we got 18 gallons so far. 19, it was about empty. Oh, there we go, almost 20. There we go, all right. I'm gonna put this back in here. And then I've gotta go inside to get my cash. But before I do that, and use the restroom, so before I do that, you always want to pull the truck up to the next line. Look at those black gloves. Gloves are just filthy, nasty black. Yes. Okay. Still get me a little sanitizer right here. Put that in there. All right, now. And I'll probably go in there and get me a cup of ice. I get three refills so I'll fill up my cup full of ice when I go in there but I'm gonna go ahead and pull up front go ahead and pull up Ooh. icy road conditions ahead my truck says hmm all right 
So go right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back off duty, or I'll go in, off duty. And then we're gonna lock up the truck. We're gonna leave it empty. We're not gonna leave it, we're not gonna leave it unlocked out here. Hey, if you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the thumbs up and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to my channel. I put out videos every day trying to show you something the CDL school will not teach you. By the way, if you're looking for a great company to work for, call the number at the bottom of the screen, 706-226-1003. They'll treat you with respect. Ask for Tina and tell me boy Sean sent you. Let's get trucking. Trucking live with Sean. Get it.